Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love readings. This will be for um, you and the person that you are in a connection with. It's gonna be a you and them reading. So we're gonna be looking at your energies as well as your person's energies and the mutual energies with between you. So how you feel about each other and what's going on in your connection. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will not resonate with everyone watching. Just keep that in mind. It's a general love reading. Okay, let's get into this Scorpio. For Scorpio spirit, regarding the person they are in a connection with or thinking about at this time. For Scorpio. What are Scorpio's energies in this connection? I'm using the wild unknown animal spirit deck wolf wow all the decks that i'm using are linked down below if you're curious the wolf interesting fearless is what i thought all right tell me about scorpio's person what are their energies in this connection of spirit eagle Karmic fire, some sort of uh, necessary transformation taking place. I love how these cards kind of match. It's like you're on the same wavelength here. Fire, the sun, and then there's fire behind this wolf. A lot of uh, energy, like very strong energy. Let me look at the wolf here. Guardian of family and tribe, activism, ritual. Wolf's mission is to uphold the well-being and longevity of the pack. Activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. Um, although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy embrace all exclude none so when in balance the wolf is reliable democratic and fearless so that's why i thought fearless when i saw the wolf they tend to be leaders natural born leaders and then the eagle like i said um, this is about kind of like a necessary transformation being put through the fire here represents mastery over the elements of fire and Air, when the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves. And um, it's pretty much like, go along for the ride. <laughs> you are stronger than you think. Okay, so I feel like your person, for a lot of you, um, Scorpio, I feel like your person is going through some sort of karmic situation, some sort of deep transformation, um, something that's going to move them forward into a new cycle here with the eagle and you i feel like um you're very fearless and when it comes to this connection very no nonsense approach as well maybe a little too um how do i say it? like maybe you want to take charge of this situation a little too much and it might you know you might have to back off a little bit um, and let things kind of happen um, so we'll see what the tarot has to say Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it, especially those of you that take the time to be so kind in the comments. It does not go unnoticed, and I read every single one, so even though I can't respond to all of them, I do appreciate your support. All right, for Scorpio, what is going on for Scorpio and this other person's spirit? Using the Light Seers Tarot here. Let's start with you, Scorpio. And by the way, just because I'm saying that you are here, Scorpio, on this side and your person's on the other, does not mean that you cannot flip it. So if the energy is flipped, feel free to um, do that if it resonates more for your situation. Tell me about Scorpio's energies in this connection spirit. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling at this time in this connection? What's going on? with Scorpio here. Page of Pentacles reverse. Okay, what's going on with Scorpio? There you are, Scorpio, death card. 
what's going on with Scorpio what are Scorpio's energies in this connection five of cups reverse interesting so I feel like you're also going through something here Scorpio either some sort of ending of a cycle or some sort of change or transformation on your own I feel like you're thinking about changing something because page of Pentacles reversed something hasn't started or taken off for you an opportunity hasn't come or there's like serious delays I think you're thinking also about recovering something from the past or maybe you're thinking about the past a little too much here with the five of cups reverse we'll see when I clarify so tell me about Scorpio's person what are their energies here what are their energies in this connection for Scorpio please nine of Pentacles reverse Scorpio's person what can you tell me about Scorpio's person two of cups interesting what else can you tell me about Scorpio's person Knight of Wands, okay. Knight of Wands, fire, fire, fire. Very interesting. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy with the Knight of Wands. Your person is, when it comes to this connection, your person um, feels like you are their person. Um, there's a connection here, a strong connection between you. You mirror each other. Maybe uh, your person thinks that you, Scorpio, are their soulmate. And there's something that they want. There's something that they're motivated to go after here with the Knight of Wands. There's something that they are willing to take charge on. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, there's some sort of something. Your person's attached to something or someone. Maybe they're financially dependent on someone. Maybe they're not financially stable right now. Or maybe there's something um, that your person, you know, kind of needs to detach themselves from here, you know, either a situation or a person or something like that. So what's going on between you? What are the mutual energies here for Scorpio and this person? What are the mutual energies in this connection spirit? Wow, Ten of Cups. Pinnacle of Happiness. Family emotional stability what are the mutual energies here king of swords reverse well that's kind of the opposite <laughs> of that energy Aquarius Libra Gemini energy to the bottom of the deck here two of Pentacles okay King of Swords reverse, terrible communicator. They are terrible at communicating. Sometimes they hide uh, certain truths. Um, they can be mean, uh, cold, dis uh, emotionally disconnected. Um, so we'll have to clarify to see what that's about. Help me clarify, Spirit, these energies. For Scorpio, please. Let me clarify these energies, please. For Scorpio. Let's start with this Ten of Cups. What can you tell me about this Ten of Cups spirit? Queen of Wands reverse. What in the world? So this is not happiness. This is either a family situation or involves children of some sort. Tell me more about this. Um, tell me more about this Ten of Cups.
Queen of Wands reverse, another terrible person to be dealing with. Nine of Wands reverse. Queen of Wands reverse acts without regard of the consequences. So she makes decisions that might affect other people, but she doesn't really care. She's thinking more about herself and her needs. Um, sometimes she can be a bit of a homewrecker. Um, and sometimes she can just be very uh, bossy or short or like short, has a short temper. Um, and it gets her in trouble. Uh, there could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius um, person surrounding or involved in this connection um, that's not really handling a situation well. And with the Nine of Wands reverse, this is somebody that is ready to give up on something. Their guard is down. They're no longer uh, protecting themselves or defending something. Um, they could even their health could even be affected. Um, so it's very interesting here. It's almost like something has happened in this connection, um, either because of a Queen of Wands reversed or something has happened to make someone, you know, act this way. Um, and I feel like it either affected a connection that was already happy or it's affecting a connection, you know, with children or some sort of something to do with family. It could be a family problem. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse emperor's reverse something hasn't been growing again that controlling energy someone that wants something to happen even though it might not be the right thing um, or the right investment empress energy they tend to be kind of like a jilted lover sometimes so it's like someone that is not dealing well with being left behind something here is not not working out not it's just not growing. Tell me more about this King of Swords reverse. Nope. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse, please. Seven of Swords. Okay, so I don't know what is going on here, Scorpio. Please let me know in the comments what is going on in this connection. Someone's not behaving the way they should be behaving. Uh... This is very sneaky energy, deceptive energy. Someone's not playing fair. Someone could be trying to avoid this whole situation and not face the music here. And it's causing problems. Like either the communication is bad or someone's hiding something. They could be hiding even another partner or hiding um, something in their past. And there's kind of like, there's a lot of turmoil here. All of these cards, except for the Ten of Cups, are all cards about kind of like difficulty. And um, well, the Knight of Wands reverse could be someone that is ready to trust, not, you know, ready to open up and not be so guarded and paranoid. But um, Nine of Wands reverse can also be someone that is just re like way, ex like overly exhausted. Um, someone whose health could even be affected because they are so... Like they've just been through the ringer and it's been, it's taken its toll. So let's get into this. Why is the page of pentacles reversed here? First Scorpio. Why is the page of pentacles reversed here? Three of swords reverse. Could be um, some sort of third party interference here with the three of swords reverse. Uh, it could be anything interfering this connection. Um, fear, uh, family, another partner, money. And it's caused something to not take off here. There hasn't been a solid beginning here because of this. Ooh. Tell me about death. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reversed. Another three, work, effort, collaborating, working together, and nine of cups reversed. This is a wish that has not been granted or 
you got your wish, but it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. There were compromises that had to be made. You had to give something in return. I feel like you want to change this or end this. Like you no longer want to put in effort or you no longer want to work on something with someone, possibly because of the deception, because of the communication taking place here, bad communication. Tell me about the five of cups reverse. Why is the five of cups reverse? Queen of Swords reverse, yikes. Tell me more about this Five of Cups reverse. Eight of Swords. Five of Swords reverse, yikes. Something seriously happened to make you, it's like you're completely shut off emotionally you're completely done. Um, you probably feel you know, almost like you're maybe overthinking um, regarding the past. Maybe you're having regrets, um, not over what happened. Um, I feel like some of you that I'm talking to, this is not gonna be for all of you, but some of you that I'm talking to, you are stuck trying to fix this. You want to recover what has been lost. You want to work together on something. You want to have some sort of reconciliation, even though something's dead or over. That's for a very small number of you, but I'm throwing it out there because I see it here. And it, this could be because children are involved or there's a lot at stake. But you feel, I think, trapped too in your emotions and in your, in your thoughts. Your thoughts are keeping you stuck, unsure of what to do. But I think the energy that you're bringing is I have to do something. I have to do something about this. And it could be that your person was the one that made all of this happen, Scorpio, or you could be going through this on your own. Maybe if this is a family situation, this is just something that's happening. Or if this is a work situation, this is something that's happening at work, something like that. You're dealing with this. So let's see, tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse. Why is the nine of pentacles reverse? Six of Pentacles. So your person's trying to rebalance a situation here. Tell me more for this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more for this Nine. Page of Swords. Okay, so maybe communication, they want to talk. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Hierophant, Taurus energy, commitment. I feel like your person's in a commitment. They could be in a marriage or some sort of long-term commitment. Or they could be a Taurus. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. Moon reverse, Pisces energy, judgment reverse, Ace of Swords reverse. reverse. Your person really screwed up. <laughs> I mean, either they really screwed up or they didn't tell you something, which was also a screw up. It was a bad judgment call. With whatever they didn't tell you was a bad judgment call. Something is coming to light here though. Your person's not gonna be able to keep this hidden. Um, I feel like they're gonna be caught or you caught them already. I think it caused problems in your connection. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What does your person want? What is this Knight of Wands about? Yeah. They want to recover 
they want a reconciliation, a compromise. They want to wave the white flag. They want to maybe apologize for what happened. Um, there was some sort of a loss and they regret it. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. This could be you too. You might be wanting this too. Hangman reverse. Yikes. Okay. Your person is unable to let go of something completely, which is, I feel like that's required, a requirement for things to come together here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Two of Wands reverse, bottom of the deck, three of Cups reversed. I'm sorry to say, you know, your person might have cheated on you with a third party or hid a third party from you. Um, it could have been that they they chose someone else over you as well, Scorpio. And it's probably because your person... There's a few ways that you can take this. There's a few ways that you can take this. Um, I feel like there's a lot of history here between you and this person. I think there's a lot that has happened. I feel like um, some some of you Scorpios are willing to forgive. Some of you are not. Um, and your person could have done a lot of things that they regret. But I feel like their judgment is blocked, which is going to keep them from making the same mistakes which is why this karmic fire this transformation is so necessary for this connection your person's judgment needs this needs to turn around this ace of swords needs to turn around this hangman needs to turn around and and that's only going to happen once someone has had clarity and has learned from the karma that they've been given we all deal with karma and all of us deal with it differently. Some of us learn from it. Some of us have to keep learning the lesson. <laughs> so I really hope that your person has their, their personal awakening here. Because otherwise, I really don't see how they're going to rebalance the situation. How are they going to give you something? You know, it's almost like it can only be given to you halfway until, you know, something really comes into balance here and who knows it could be that your person really is a good person deep down and you know they really want to improve this connection maybe they really feel you're their soulmate scorpio and that they know they've done wrong they know that they they're in you know their way that they've handled the situation has not helped the situation and um you know maybe you already know they're in a commitment um but there's still kind of like a little tension here because of what has already taken place or what's unfolding right now so i don't really see as of right now i don't really see how you know your person's you know they're they're really going to have to make some sort of drastic change is basically what i'm trying to say for you and them to work together here and i feel like some of you scorpios that are that i'm talking to you're already done with this person you're ready for a whole new transformation of your own you want this done. You want to, you know, break free of this fear or anxiety that you have, this this baggage that this connection has given you or has brought to your life. Like you're done. You're, you're ready to like just move on. But others of you, I feel, still see the potential and want to kind of see where this is going, want to see if there is a reconciliation that can take place, want to see if, you know, maybe with time, maybe with effort, this could work. So I feel like I'm talking to two different groups. Thank you so much for watching your likes, shares, and subscribes, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.